Hey guys, in this video today I'm going to be comparing um, iMovie 2011 and Final Cut Pro X um, as a as video editors. So um, I have both applications open and I just want to say the only other application open uh, is QuickTime Player and that's currently what I'm um, recording the video on. Uh, so we're gonna see, you know, how they compare, how they, uh, you know, take up speed and speed tests. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and import um, a file. Go to desktop and go ahead and import this. Um, now we could see it in iMovie. It imports it. Uh, it takes around um, two seconds to import and to generate thumbnails. It's taking a little bit longer. Um, so we're still waiting on iMovie. <coughs> so let's go ahead and wait for that to load. So yeah, uh, that took a large amount of time. Uh, as you can see, the video file is 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and import it in Final Cut. Go to Import Files. Um, select the same file. Um, and you can see that it's almost instant uh, compared to iMovie. Um, <clears throat> so now we're just going to start doing simple editing. We're going to go into iMovie and maybe drag the first 34 seconds. Uh, so you can see that that's how you do that. Um, let's try the same thing in here. Um, 34. Uh, and you could see that uh, it's actually more precise on Final Cut. Um, okay, so let's try that. Go ahead and drag and drop. Oh, I forgot to create a new project. I did that on iMovie, so. Okay, let's go ahead and drag and see what happens. Okay. And you could see that um, it was the same speed. Um, so let's go ahead and try adding a picture. Uh, so let's just take a simple picture of my dog, drag it on, and it pops up instantly. Let's go ahead and try and do that. Uh, same picture. Uh, you could see that it, it kind of took a, a little bit of time uh, in iMovie. Uh, so Final Cut wins there. Um, let's go ahead and see if we could add an effect. Uh, so iMovie doesn't have effects. Uh, it just has transitions. Um, but you could tell that... Um, okay, so you know, let's go ahead and add a cool effect to um, the video we have. Uh, so go ahead and drag it on <coughs> and um, you could see that the uh, quality of the video actually goes down when you actually when you play the movie when you play the video um, so it's a little dark there in one second you could see that the quality of the video uh, goes down a little uh, the reason for that is so that um, the um, editing process um, will be a lot faster. Uh, and plus, as you can see, when I paused it, the quality got a little better. You see when I pause and play? So, the quality changes. Uh, so, you can basically, you can add um, all these cool effects uh, in Final Cut Pro X. And in, looks like, oh, looks like something froze there for a second. But uh, in iMovie, you really can't. Um, next thing we're going to try out is um, adding text. So go ahead. And by the way, this is just simple editing. Um, I'm not going to do any, you know, advanced like green screen and stuff. Uh, so right here, we're just going to add that. Uh, and let's see what our options are in.